Israel's selected government has been advancing certain reforms. The main goal of the reforms is to restore checks and balances between the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. These reforms were among its main election promises and enjoy solid public support. Over the last two decades, the judicial branch has annexed powers in a way that cannot be found in any other democracy in the world. For example, sitting Supreme Court justices have an effective veto over the appointment of new justices. The court can use vague claims of unreasonableness to overturn any government policy or to disqualify inconvenient civil service appointments that are out of its jurisdiction. The court declared Israel's basic laws to be its constitution and uses them to annul ordinary statutes, but now it has taken to itself the authority to rule parts of this very constitution unconstitutional. The court decided, with no basis in law, that any ruling of the Attorney General is binding on the government. That means that an appointed civil servant is now the boss of the elected Prime Minister. Could you imagine any of these things happening in the United States or any other democratic country? Some of the court's rulings have done severe long-term social and economic harm. For example, the court suspended signed government contracts for offshore natural gas drilling, undermining its ability to do business. The court overruled hard-won compromises regarding Haredi army enlistment that sent Israel into an endless series of elections. Prominent Israeli former Supreme Court judges have strongly criticized the current judiciary's abuse of power, and so have eminent judicial scholars from around the world. Professor Richard Posner called Israeli Chief Justice Aaron Barak an enlightened despot and a legal pirate. The reforms in progress will address the anomalies of the Israeli system and bring Israel just a few steps closer to the rest of the Western democracies.